Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit today. I am bringing everyone's favourite character from Overwatch May to you guys as a stage 1 video. Well, maybe she's not everyone's favourite. If there's an OP character in Overwatch, if any character in Overwatch is OP, then it's definitely going to be May. It's probably the one that's OP right now. She is a new character, introduced with the latest three heroes that came out. So there was May. D.Va and Genji got released. Asians galore added to Overwatch. Let me give you a brief rundown of May's kit first of all here just to show you exactly how loaded she is in Overwatch. So her primary weapon she's got a little endothermic blaster. What this does is it shoots out a stream of concentrated frost that damages, slows and eventually freezes enemies. On her primary weapon, okay? So as you hold your primary fire on a target, it slows them down over time, slowing them and slowing them and slowing them until they eventually freeze. And this process is actually very quick. So they freeze very fast. Can you imagine being a tracer or any other assault character and you just get frozen by May all the time? Because you're already super squishy and now you're super slow and then eventually frozen in place, then yes, you are dead if you get frozen by May and you're playing as an assault character, pretty much nothing can save you. Her secondary fire on her primary weapon is also pretty cool because what it does is it fires a sort of icicle after a, a tiny little charge up period so it's not an insta shot and it does have travel time so it's not hit scan either but what it does is it does nice damage so when you can freeze an enemy character what you want to do is freeze them and then right click them right in the face because they're standing still so you cannot miss their face with this little icicle which is going to deal massive damage and guarantee you the kill on them for sure she has two abilities as well as her gun so her two abilities let's look at those she freezes herself and becomes completely invulnerable to damage this cancels pretty much every single ultimate from the enemy team in the game. Every ultimate in the game is cancelled by a simple press of this self freeze from May, which also heals herself over time. So if you panic and you get low on health, just press this one button and you can freeze yourself. You can also contest points while you're in this frozen mode so no one can capture a point or push the payload further while you are in the freeze mode and no one can kill you either. So yay. What you can do though is accidentally unfreeze yourself if you press shift which is the, the default key for the ability. If you press shift twice by accident, you will freeze and then unfreeze. Whoops. Happens a few times. You gotta watch out for that, so don't accidentally unfreeze yourself. It will last the maximum duration, even if people are shooting at you, so you cannot destroy this little frozen May cubicle thing. And her final ability there is the ice wall. So what she can do is summon a wall of ice. Now, we've seen this in some other games. She just summons a big wall of ice, which enemies cannot pass through. They can destroy it, but it takes quite a lot of bullets. She can also boost her teammates up to higher ledges using this ice wall if they stand on the sort of spot where she's going to summon it and then summons it underneath their feet she can boost them up. She can also boost herself up on top of it if she summons it at her own feet which is really strong on some maps perhaps way too strong on some maps because some maps <laughs> have only one choke point area when they're pushing a point or pushing a payload or something and she can summon this wall every seven seconds which is pretty much blocking an enemy push from the whole enemy team every seven seconds at a certain point on the map. That's just her basic kit. Not talked about her ultimate yet but I want to talk about some changes I think should be implemented in her, her basic kit. First of all her primary weapon shouldn't freeze targets. I'm okay with the slowing them down because it pretty much slows them down to a point where they are pretty much not moving anyway but the additional freeze on them from the primary weapon is just way too much. The ice wall could do with like a third of its current health pool as well I think just so that enemies can blast their way through it really quickly and sort of push points. It can be used so well just for like blocking ultimates for blocking line of sight from snipers and everything. Blocking complete groups of enemies for more than a few seconds is just too much. And then I think May would be fine. I think she wouldn't be so bad, but I hope you guys are enjoying my gameplay of May so far in the video. The final thing to touch on here is her ultimate ability. Her ultimate ability is called Blizzard. Yay, Blizzard. Awesome. They called it after themselves because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> and they made it super OP as well. Well, kind of, I guess. It charges way too fast, basically. That's all. That's my only problem with it. What it does is it summons a little drone thing that produces a blizzard. It's called a weather modification drone. It summons a blizzard in an area and what this does is it damages enemies, slows them down and eventually freezes them. But that's fine for an ultimate ability. That's totally cool. Ultimate abilities are allowed to do crazy things like freeze enemies completely. 
primary weapons or not. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really cool ability, works really well, it's really good for capture point and payload just dropping one of those on the point if you want to secure it for sure. But look at this crap! Frickin' Torbjorn stole my play of the game, I get 5 kills and his little turret hammering away there gets my play of the game. Damn it! So, May's pretty cool, I guess. Hope to see some changes just to make her feel a little bit better and fit more with the other characters in the game would be nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys soon in another Overwatch video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.